to all carpenters a new design in rotary You lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. This way! Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. I don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Will let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout and take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half or four before they've even realized what's happened. into position, but wait for me to take the first shot.
You two, clear off. So much for the element of surprise. Reinforcement! Take them! Shoot before they reach us! Use those spare muskets and you won't have to reload. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. <laughs> on with the show then. Guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. Bet this will fetch a pretty penny. Save your looting for after we found Johnson's research. Yes, Master. Lay down your weapons and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Atham, this one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. Careful, gents. We've company. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rabble. is sure to have loot on them. It would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Oh, why has you always got to go and spoil the sport?
It's just a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you'll need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! What? Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. Good evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> I oh, have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Wonderful.
Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. Best of intentions. And ourselves. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. Whitzel has contracted a demonstration of his latest looms, and Walker and Associates tomorrow and Thursday. to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher Time to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. Then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it.
is there to charge. But one way or another, the debt would be settled. I don't envy the man. He's grim times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Cut it. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> good call, that. what had happened no only that it was a trifling matter and he'd be returned home soon there was some blood though so i wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on where were they taking him towards the hilltop perhaps there's a doctor at the fort see charles We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking. past them. I'll have to find the key. Wait here.
Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very good. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe... I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No! Hold a moment! Perhaps I was... Hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my no. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> Cover this dirt, Cutter. I'm proud of it. A little bit for you. like all good artists. Maybe you'll get lucky and pass out. Though I dare say I'll do my best to ensure that doesn't happen. You're a ruffian. Commoner's dirt cutter. I'm proud of it. Your parents must be so very proud to have raised a specimen like yourself. Quiet now. I need to... Who... Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I, I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him.
state your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Pitcairn, you fool! Your acts are treacherous! Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Scoundrels, one and all! Boy on you and your false war! <laughs> After him! Unhand him, Edward. Ah, uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. 
I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Now, John. Traitor! Go on then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying, I assume you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. And here would like...
gentlemen dilettantes, amateurs, and the curious public, Toby Locke will demonstrate tomorrow by the Belfry his latest flying contraption. For the sturdiest and most seamless battles in America, Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas' fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then. Let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. One, Samuel Adams, the boss of Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. All the news you need today is Boston. 
We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Engage the enemy! Goddamn dogs! You in the car. I need to Let no man car. reach us! Looks like you're to meet the Reaper! On your guard, man. Of course. Only say the word, and I'll cut them down. One moment, then. Are you new? Who's your officer? Engage the enemy. All clear. Good evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery of Silas. Go on, then. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain... Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. I know when you're ready to strike. What are you talking about? Prisoners. Newly recruited. Who are they? Prisoners? Stop slouching. There are no prisoners. I said stop slouching. Who are you to tell me what to do? A good friend of Mr. Thatcher's. Oh, and if they did exist, we would not have known you. There are no prisoners.
Hmm. A nice change of pace from the campaigning back home. Why do you think so many of us volunteer? Good pay, safe work, a chance to own some land. French would see an end to that. I don't know. It seems intense anymore. Sometimes I wonder if it's not we who provoke with our sorties and expeditions. Ha! That's exactly what you want. Such a shame. The colonies are meant to be an opportunity, not another war front. I must say, the weather in Boston is much fairer than back home. Wait until winter and see if you still feel the same. Or summer for that matter. The heat and wet suffocates a man. And his uniform. <laughs> Clearly shown for the time. An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess. Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. 
I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? Push them back. I could use some help. I made a promise to you, Silas. One I intend to keep. now we wait but not for very long I suspect It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin.
business. or beat the stem and tumor fight, you have but one new and miraculous ointment to turn. Montgomery's Pure Pipe the next. <coughs> the Boston Country Journal, your favorite penny sheet. <coughs> Mechanical forging of all dimensions and specifications. Stop this! Why are you abusing me? 